this is a quick tutorial on how I'm going to prepare the back plate for the sword, the display plate that goes on the wall um, with the image from the sword itself. Um, now here on the screen you can see Photoshop open and I've got the top half of the image I'm going to use for the sword plate and the bottom half image will be done exactly the same. So I'll just go through this quickly with you and show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select up here and I'm going to select the perspective crop tool. Uh, what I want to do is basically make this square um, and the perspective perspective one will do that for me. So I can just line up the the lines of the crop tool with the area that I actually want to square up. I'm not going to spend too long doing this and there you go straight away it's nice and square. And I'm going to go up to the adjustments. I want to select the black area. At the moment it's uh, a little bit sort of pasty so I want to just make it a bit darker and I'll make the light areas lighter. Selecting that area, press W on the keyboard or the one tool which is up here in the left corner. I'm going to select the black area in the screen and it's selected that quite nicely. I'm going to go up to select and then similar, it should hopefully, which it has, it's selected all the black area. I'm going to go Control J and that's put that selection that we did of the black onto a new layer. So I'll get rid of the background layer, you can see how much cleaner that is for light burn to work with. Uh, I'm going to just reselect that with control and clicking the area. I'm going to use the brush, make sure I've got a nice black selected here. And I'm just going to go over it and make it darker. That's using the black brush. Okay, control D to deselect. I've got a couple of areas up the top here and I don't actually want to see that, so I'm going to put a mask on with the mask selected. Control space to zoom in. I'm just going to use the black over the top of the mask. I've got a few little areas that I'll go around and tidy up, that type of thing. Obviously, be zooming in, doing it a lot better on the proper version. Uh, also what I want to do is I want to get rid of this sort of motif thing in the middle here. I don't want that. I want to just keep this nice and simple. So I'm going to select the image and again with the black brush I'm just going to paint this out. And obviously I don't want a big black area like that at the bottom of my scan. So I'm going to make this border here the same. So Make the brush up the same width as the circle and then obviously again I'm just doing it quickly to show you but I would be doing this um, with the right size brush so it would give this sort of effect. Something like that but I'll do for the, just so you can see what we're going to do. I'm going to save that image onto the PC and Lightburn can work quite nicely with that. So into Lightburn, I'm going to control I to import the image. This is the image that I've just done from Photoshop. Um, it's dark, not dark because it's not on output at the moment and it won't be outputted. I want to scan that because I want to cut. So we're going to trace this image. Zoom in with the mouse roller button. We can click the middle mouse button to move down, making sure this magenta line, which is the trace line, follows where we want to be. And that looks good. So now I've got two layers. One's the image, which is not going to be output. I'm going to turn it off so you can't see it. So now I've got the cut lines. It's actually done a very good job at tracing that. Lightburn's brilliant software. Uh, what I want to do here is 
these lines, if I cut all these lines out, I'm basically going to lose all the middle section. But I want to cut a line there to keep the interest. So I'm going to select the whole thing, which is a, a big group at the moment, and use the ungroup. And then I can select individual parts of the image. Okay, so the sections like this I'm going to make red and they're just going to be a score line so it's not going to actually cut all the way through. This section here, control, holding down shift and selecting multiple parts, I'm going to make blue. So blue I'm going to use for scanning. So it's going to scan maybe into a millimetre deep into the surface to create a bit of a relief. If I move the black line down to the bottom, you'll see the cut. So it's going to scan in deep and then cut all the way through in these sections here, which will reveal whatever it is I put underneath. OK, so that's the basics of what I'm going to do to prepare it for the laser. I'm going to select all, delete, and I will just import the final version of that one. So here, that's the one I was just doing, exactly the same. All I've done is use the offset tool over here to just create a little offset from the scan. And that's going to be a little line just to give a bit of interest on, that, on those two sections around the name. And the rest of it is going to be pierced all the way through. I'm going to take this section out. Okay, so now we've got all the layers and everything sorted out for a nice scan and a cut. I've noticed when I zoom in tight to these that the lines from the tracing image are not very good. Straight lines aren't very straight, points don't come to points, and the curves aren't very even. What I've done is to redraw them back in AutoCAD. So I've imported the image that we saved from Photoshop earlier and then I've basically traced as you can see here over the top. Now the image in the background isn't symmetrical so the uh, lines from AutoCAD are symmetrical so as long as one side fits I can then adapt the tracing parts in Lightburn which will be all this section um, to fit it and that's how it comes out here and here traced from that image. Okay, I'm not going to go into details of how I did all that in um, AutoCAD because it's not an AutoCAD tutorial. But I can do that at another time. So we'll get rid of that one and open up the final image. So now you can see this is the final section, the same as I had before, but I've just changed a couple of the, the color layers um, and added this section instead of the crest. Um, but now you can see where I've imported the new DXF file. All the points are now pointy, the curves are nice and even, and the lines are nice and straight, which is what I want. So this is now the final image for the laser to cut and scan. So see you at the laser. So here we are at the laser, ready to cut our job. Um, my laser's 1200 by 900. Um, that's the size of the bed in millimetres and the tube is a CO2 tube uh, with 100 watts of power. So I shouldn't have any problem cutting this 5mm MDF whatsoever. Um, let's do the job. So that's the 10mm cut out for the back plate. Now we move on to scanning the 5mm ply. So here you can see the laser sweeping from side to side. It's moving at 250mm a second and the laser set at 30% power. 
it's moving up the image 0.15 millimeters per pass as you can see it's doing each section that we set in Lightburn on the different colors they're all set to the same power uh, the difference is that it's doing a small section rather than having to move up and down the entire length of the bed So now it's moved on to the red lines which are scanned and now you can see it's moved on to the darker black lines which is the cutout complete. And there you have it, all cut out, scanned and ready for the next stage. So here's the pieces after we've cut them out of the laser. I've done a little bit of work to them which I'll just go through with you quickly. Now I've put a little bead moulding around the edge of the very backboard and the holes cut out for the supports. The middle section, uh, the surround I've just done in the natural colour and the middle section I'm going to do in like a mahogany colour. That's the mahogany bases there, and you can see it all showing out quite nicely. So that will sit inside there. And then the backboard here, I'm going to do black, gloss black around the edge. And then I'm going to inset or lay on here some gold leaf. Um, so it will shine through, shine through this section here. It will shine through all the holes with some nice gold showing and that will match really nicely with the handle and everything on the sword. So this is the oil size, it's a three hour size, which is just a guide really to how long it's going to be before it's ready, but it's very very hard to judge depending on the temperature. This is a fairly stiff bristled brush. You can see here I'm just brushing out a tiny bit of size, very, very thin over the surface. Need it as thin as possible. So this is the gold. It's actually called Dutch metal. It's a, more of a brass actually. Now it's a lot cheaper for this project. Um, it comes in a bigger sheet and this is um, transfer leaf. So it has a greaseproof paper backing which allows you to press it down by hand. As you can see on my next leaf I like to use the backing from the first leaf some of the greaseproof paper just makes it a lot more slidable and less likely for your fingers to grip to the surface gives you a nicer finish so we'll just work our way down the board until it's all covered in the nice gold These transfer sheets are quite easily available. They come in all different metals, copper, gold, aluminium, platinum, anything you like really for whatever sort of effect you want to achieve. So there we are all covered. I'm going to leave it a while, about 6-7 hours. Now we're going to use a soft brush 
just to brush away the excess and anything that's left over. This will leave us with a satin sheen because I don't want it too glossy. So now we have to put it all together. Here you can see four strips of a double sided adhesive tape. I've set this back up in the laser using the print and cut feature of Lightburn and set an offset of 0.5 of a millimetre just so it's cutting slightly larger so I've got no chance of seeing any glue onto the gold. Here you can see just taking out the bits that I want the gold to show through. And you can see how accurately it's cut. I've taken away that 0.5 of a mil bigger than the actual hole. And there we have it, all finished, looks amazing. Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, if you want to see some more tutorials and things I'm making, plenty more to come. If you have any questions, uh, write them in the comments and I shall answer them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.